It is the hardest decision law enforcement officials can make, whether to take the life of someone who is putting people in danger. A machine in Pueblo is helping officers decide when to use deadly force. Garrity News Channel 13's Carl Winder spoke with Pueblo County Sheriff's deputies who use that machine. He shows us how important it is, especially in light of the officer-involved shootings happening across the U.S. It's new for you at 10 o'clock. As far as Orlando <laughs> and as close as Pueblo, law enforcement officials are making life or death decisions. It's just the world is more violent. That just comes with the territory. That's part of the the profession, there's always going to be an element of danger. Deputy Jim Boley has close to 30 years of experience at the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office. He's done close to everything in almost three decades, except be part of an officer-involved shooting. Turn around slowly. That's where the use of force simulator comes in to get him ready if the day ever comes. It allows you to put individuals in lifelike situations and have them interact and make decisions under stress. Sheriff's deputies say it takes about a fraction of a second before they decide to pull the trigger or not. It's one of them things where you don't have very, very long to, to think about what you're going to do. You have to react to it to save your life or that of others. It, it's a life-changing experience, I know. Um, just talking to some of the officers I have, it changes their whole life. It's something you don't want to do, but you know you might have to. And the sheriff's deputies hope the active killer situations can stay in this simulator. In Pueblo County, Carl Winder, KRDO News Channel 13. The Pueblo County Sheriff's Office says all of its deputies who are issued a gun have to use the simulator. There have been three officer-involved shootings in Pueblo County this year.